sometimes in golf, the shortest holes can be the toughest. It's very true. Ten bucks, close to the pin. Not on your life, Adam, but let's go hit him anyway. All okay. Right. You're watching Newswatch, the 5 o'clock show. Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Lockenock from Dr. Doug's Family Chiropractic Center. I'm here with Adam Craig, the assistant pro at Wildfire Golf Club. Uh, it's a gorgeous day out here, beautiful course, meticulously kept. And we've been showing you some, some great par fives over previous shows, some par fours, some interesting situation, all the wonderful nature out here. Um, but today, Adam, I want you to walk us through a short hole, a par three, some of the toughest holes in golf, island greens and things that can be very short holes. And a lot of amateurs and even uh, lower handicappers make a lot of mistakes here. So can you walk us through a thought process of you and what an amateur should do when we're going through uh, to get a good score on a short hole like this? Of course, Doug. Um, this hole today, it's just playing 117 yards. As you can see, the pin's kind of tucked over a bunker. We did that last time we were here. We saw bunker shots. But the main goal, there's, so, there's about 40 yards of green that you can hit to here. So even though it's so short, people try and muscle their sand wedge or any other type of wedge. When it's the same thing, you just take one more club, get it on the green, try and make your par from there. There's no need trying to go pin seeking over there and just compound your problems. Yeah, so, so can you walk us through as you're setting up, just kind of think and talk and where you put the ball on the tee and where people make mistakes and, uh, and then show us. You know, the amateur might be thinking of all these bunkers and really somebody like you is just thinking middle of the green, maybe draw it in towards the pin, I, I would think. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tee it up a little bit farther right to try and get more of an angle at the pin. I'm not going to go right for the pin. I'm going to aim a bit right and uh, at worst hopefully hit the middle of the green and try and walk away from par from there. All right. But I grabbed one more club, like I said, and just going to try and hit kind of a three-quarter half shot and try to control the distance a lot more than try and swing at something and, really hard. And you've got the ball down low, which is another thing amateurs make a mistake. Sometimes they tee it up higher like their driver. They go right under and then they get that pop-up shot. So some people might even hit it right off the grass to keep down on it here or very low on a tee. Mm -hmm. For sure. With, with any wedge, I just kind of put it on the grass as if it's just in the fairway. Right. But for sure, you want to tee it up as low as possible sure. with any wedge. We'll try a shot here. And exactly what we look for, right? So we're going we're gonna to look and apply the same principles here. I'm just going to get my ball. Actually, I, I rarely use a tee on a short one, too, so I stay down on it. And uh, just go for that center of the green. Uh, got in a cl club in my hand that I should be able to make it there. Not going to have quite as smooth of a swing as Adam there. But we're going to just make sure we, we get through. And, and there we go. <laughs> Actually, there's a a challenge which we're going to go through the next show. So we're actually going to show you how on this we don't actually do a lot of retakes. Uh, I could go in and probably hit a good one, but that's a great shot because we're going to see even though I thought everything through, I don't have Adam swing. So I can still end up in trouble there. All right, I thought everything right, but you can still get a bum swing once in a while um, that's out there. So the idea, you know, I look, I actually had my divot line there, but Adam will tell me I just didn't get through, did something there um, because I'm not warmed up. But on this hole where the uh, where the bunkers are, we're looking at all of this, um, rarely through the tuck pin, and maybe something in my mind told me to try and turn it over when mm -hmm. I got there, um, as a typical amateur would do. And you're going to walk up away with your par. Next show, we're going to see what I'm going to do from all these fancy spots where, where I'll end up on here. So we want to show off a good, good hole here, Adam. This is a short hole. Um, we're going to have some fun with it. You're going to make your, make your putt there, or putts, I'm sure, and hopefully you'll help me out with the chip. Of course, let's go do it. All right, so we'll see you next time on well Wellness for Life. We'll look forward to uh, helping Dr. Doug chip because I can't get it straight off the tee today. Wellness for Life is brought to you by Dr. Doug's Chiropractic Center, exceeding above and beyond your health expectations.